All right, so here is a uh, typical scientific calculator, and we're just going to look at some of the uh, basic features of this calculator. First, okay, so turn it on, and um, let's uh, first of all look at this EXP button because that one will be uh, very important to us in chemistry. All right. So what this EXP means, it stands for exponent, um, and it includes uh, the factor of 10. So if we want to put in a number like uh, 5.1 times 10 to the 8th, then we would do 5.1 EXP, and you'll notice it puts up the little um, superscript uh, exponent there. And so then we would just put 8, okay? And um, looking at that, here on this calculator, it shows it as 5.1, and then it implies times 10 to the 8th, okay? That's a 0, 8 there. Um, and so and you'll notice when I press equals, it uh, rewrites that in... Uh, in normal notation, depending on your calculator, what mode it's in, it may or may not do that. Um, but you'll see, if here was the decimal place originally, we move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places to the right. That's what, uh, what we get there. Okay? So uh, that is a very useful button. Uh, we'll be using that quite often. All right, but just a few other um, uh, buttons that we'll look at here. Uh, first of all, the way that uh, you, you'll you notice that on these buttons up at the top, um, that um, if you can see this clearly, there is uh, some yellow writing above the buttons. Okay, that yellow writing um, is accessed from the yellow button. Most often the uh, calculator will be color coded. It says shift, so if I wanted uh, one of those, I would press shift and then that particular um, button. All right, so let's, um, oh, and a couple others here. Here's a plus minus, so if I want eight, but it, uh, I can do this and it makes it negative eight, okay? So that just kind of toggles the sign there um, and that'll be often used. Also, there's parentheses. So if I want to say um, uh, two times and then in parentheses, you'll notice it puts the parentheses uh, the, and it says zero one, that's the first parentheses, okay? Um, so two times five plus three, and then close parentheses. Um, and you notice when I close the parentheses, now it says, okay, in parentheses I had five plus three, so that's eight, okay? So now two times eight is 16, as opposed to if you did it in the order of operations without parentheses, two times five would be 10 plus three would be 13, okay? So the parentheses are, uh, are also very useful there. Um, another thing, if you make a mistake and you put an extra digit or something, you can use this arrow to back up, okay? And that lets you re-enter uh, the character there, okay? Um, Several of these are used more exclusively in math or physics classes. Uh, we won't touch these uh, trigonometry functions in this class. However, we do use the log and the natural log. Um, and of course, the uh, um, x squared. If you want to you know, do 5 squared, you'll get 25, okay? So that's a, a handy little button. And also, in yellow above it, it has a square root sign, okay? So the way this works is you, you put in a number, and then the number that you want the square root of, 
Uh, so that's the number you want the square root of. Then you take and get the square root of that number. Okay, so 9 and then square root is 3. Okay, or um, you know, if you do a non uh, square number, then it'll give you the whole uh, words there. Okay, so those are handy. And then log works the, the same sort of a way. If you want the log of 5, first you put 5 and then log, and that's the log of 5. Okay, um, a lot of times when we use log, we use the negative log. Okay, so let's say if we wanted the negative log of 2.4. Okay, first we have 2.4. Then we do the log, so that's the positive log of 2.4, and you just do that, and then there's your negative log. Okay, so uh, we'll be using that when we do uh, pH. Also, um, just above the log uh, is the 10 to the x uh, function. Okay, that's the opposite of the log, just like the square root is the opposite of the square um, function. So the log um, is the opposite of 10 to the x, right? So if I take a number like this, um, and I want 10 to the negative 0.38, okay? What I do is shift to get to that yellow part, and then press that, and you'll see there is my 10 to the negative 0.38, gives me 0.416 repeating, okay? Um, same sort of thing with the natural log. So then you put in the number first on this kind of a calculator. You put in the number first. So it would be, say, you want 5.4, the, the log of the natural log of 5.4. You put in the number first, then you press the natural log, and it gives you the natural log of 5.4. Okay? Um, and then. The opposite of the natural log is e to the x. When we get to those, we'll talk about um, uh, those uh, functions again. But uh, e to the x, so if you want e to the uh, 8.2, then you put in that number, and then um, e to the x, that is uh, that, that number there. Okay? So some of it, uh, it works a little bit uh, opposite in that you have to put in the number first and then press log, put in the number first, and then uh, um, the natural log. Or uh, also, if you want the, say, you know, here we have the squared. You know, if you want what is uh, 8 squared, well, that's 64, okay? But what if I want to know... Um, what is 4 cubed? Okay, well this x to the y button, I press that, and then I put in 3 for cubing, and there it is. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4, that's the cubing, gives me 64. So um, that is a handy tool as well. Okay, so those are the most common features that we use on a, a scientific calculator. Um, of course, another handy one is just above the EXP, you'll notice there's the pi symbol. So I can do shift EXP, that gives me pi. It says one pi. Um, so let's see, if I do times two, it's putting it in symbolic form, so it's just saying two pi. That's kind of interesting. Um, but uh, you can uh, you can do that um, as well there. There's 2 pi, and then I divided by 3, and this time uh, it wrote it out as a decimal. Okay? So that is also handy. Um, another basic feature, a lot of people don't realize the difference between clear and all clear. Okay? Um, all clear clears everything. Okay? Um, whereas clear just clears the immediate um, uh, thing that you just pressed. So say um, we're doing a chain of calculations, so 5 times 4 
plus three, and then, oh, no, I didn't want three. Clear that, plus uh, two. It still remembers the five times four, but it cleared out that three, okay? Whereas if I did five times four, and then I did AC, and then did my two, it doesn't remember it. Okay, so that's the distinction between clear, which just clears the last thing if you press the wrong number. Um, you, of course, you could also use the backspace there. Um, and then AC clears out everything. Okay, and uh, there's also uh, memory functions here. Um, I'm not going to cover that in this clip, though.